Hello everyone, I am Scutlist, and welcome to a discussion video for our possible future character in the Dynasty Warriors franchise. As a periodic studier of the Three Kingdoms, the time period the Dynasty Warriors is based on, I have several ideas for who could be new characters in future installments in this franchise. Today, I would like to discuss one of them, Liao Hua of Shu. Now, Liao Hua is really a character that I've been wanting to have added for a long time. He is a general who doesn't really have the most outstanding achievements, but he has an impressively long career in Shu, even longer in Three Kingdoms fiction. In fact, Liao Hua is one of the more heavily altered characters in Three Kingdoms fiction. But I came across something in Dynasty Warriors 9, something that convinced me that now is a better time than ever to bring Liao Hua into this franchise. Tell me, what's happening in Shu these days? Of course, Jiang Wei is still adopting a hardline approach, but he's losing support all the time. Defectors are growing in number. The Shu Emperor simply continues to do as Jiang Wei instructs and sends his people to war. Lord Liu Chen is... I mean, Liu Chen is not fit to carry on the dream of his Lord Father and Lord Zhuge Liang. It's... It's all that fool's fault that Shu is on the verge of ruin. <sighs> After DW7 and DW8, which suggested that the Shu cast was firmly behind Zhang Wei's borderline deranged desire to defeat Wei, we now see that some Shu people are actually resenting him. More relevant than the words of a generic soldier, a Shu minister in DW9 by the name of Huang Hao butts heads with Jiang Wei if you're on the Shu side in Chapter 13. While it is made clear that the real reason he opposes Jiang Wei is because Jiang Wei's invasions of Wei are draining the resources Shu needs to support Huang Hao's luxurious lifestyle, he does make a point in that Jiang Wei's northern invasions are doing jack to help the kingdom and are only wasting Shu's resources. And now that the franchise is willing to put more focus in how damaging Jiang Wei was for Shu, now would be the perfect time to add Liao Hua to the roster. If you're curious as to why it's perfect, let me explain. Alright, before we get started, here's Liao Hua's card art from Shin Sangoku Muso Blast. And just for the record, I love these artworks. If Liao Hua joins the roster, there's a decent chance he'll be given this design. Dong Bai and Sha Ho Ji, for example, also retain their blast designs in DW9. But on the other hand, Chung Pu does look massively different from his blast design. And thank Zhang Zhao's heavens that they didn't use his blast artwork, I much prefer his 9 design. But anyway, returning to subject. Liao Hua was known for his strong stance against Jiang Wei in history. His loyalty to Shu was firm, but he disliked Jiang Wei's constant invasions and frequently spoke out against them. This would fit superbly well with the Shu story now being willing to call attention to how there's some resentment towards Jiang Wei and his constantly failed invasions. Huang Hao's objections to Jiang Wei was a nice addition but I think it would be better for the objections to have a more purely altruistic motivation behind them. It would probably also have more impact if it came from a player character and not a generic. There's also a scene in Nine where Liu Shan suggests that Jiang Wei find a different way, but backs down after Jiang Wei gets upset with him. It might be good to have a character objecting to Jiang Wei's methods who isn't going to be intimidated by an upset Jiang Wei. Here's my story theory. Zhuge Liang dies, and all the Shu characters retreat back to their territory and begin preparing for their northern invasions against Wei. When it's time to launch the first of Jiang Wei's northern invasions, everyone's firmly rallied behind Jiang Wei and his leadership, including Liao Hua. But they take a defeat. Then they invade again. And are defeated again. After a while, Liao Hua starts to plainly see the gap of skill between Jiang Wei and the Wei commanders who keep repelling him. He harshly condemns Jiang Wei's leadership and wants him removed from his position, saying that Jiang Wei can't be allowed to keep attacking over and over when he's so outmatched. Of course, Liao Hua is still firmly loyal to Shu, still dedicated to defeating Wei and restoring the Han Dynasty- No, sorry, sorry, that's kind of Shu's old motivation. <clears throat> 
still fully dedicated to defeating Wei and realizing a land of... Benevolence! Add this scenario to how the franchise is wanting to call some attention to how much of a mess Shu was when Wei eventually invaded and conquered it, and we have the potential for some nice late-era Shu drama. Oh, and obviously the failures of Jiang Wei's invasion should continue to be presented as being due to a combination of Jiang Wei being over-enthusiastic about fulfilling his promise to Zhuge Liang, attacking before Xu is really prepared to commit to an invasion, as well as being unable to properly see where he stands compared to the talents of the Jin faction characters. I don't want the story to even remotely suggest the real reason they keep losing is because Liao Hua isn't playing nice. Liao Hua should still be participating in the northern invasions in the game, giving it his all despite his misgivings about them. He did participate historically, at least he was around for the second and third invasions historically. As a quick FYI, Jiang Wei did 11 invasions of Wei. 11. All of which were failures. Imagine how padded out the Jin and late era Shu story would be if he tried to actually cover all 11 of them. Another thing they could do, though I myself still undecided on whether this is the best idea or not, is having some of the other current late-era Shu characters be supporters of Liao Hua. Because while there are others who historically also got on Jiang Wei's case, it would probably be a little redundant to introduce three or four characters simply to create some sort of anti-Jiang Wei micro-faction in Shu. Rather, I like to discuss the idea of having the other playable Shu characters of that time frame, like Ma Dai or Guan Yin Ping, backing what Liao Hua says. Maybe, after Jiang Wei's invasions are consistently failing and Liao Hua starts blasting Jiang Wei's abilities as a commander over it, some of the later Shu characters, like Yue Ying or Xia Ho Ba, who might as well be called a Shu character, continue to firmly back Jiang Wei while others start to stand with what Liao Hua say. Maybe not directly, maybe they just tacitly support him by never really disagreeing with him. As said, an idea rolling around in my head. It's less refined than my idea of Liao Hua and Jiang Wei butting heads, and perhaps it's an idea that doesn't really need to be done. But two feuding micro-factions and late Shu could be an interesting idea. Much like how across the last few entries, Wei seems to have started to have a bit of a Han loyalist micro-faction inside it. This story is all well and good, but you might be wondering, outside of his tensions with Jiang Wei, what else could Liao Hua do in the story? How long would he be around? Well, first of all, he has his life expanded more than most people in Three Kingdoms fiction. So expanded that in Three Kingdoms fiction, Liao Hua serves as a yellow turban. Put in Liao Hua along with the recent Zhou Song, and the Yellow Turbans will actually be decently sized for one of DW's many factions contained in the other group. His initial status as a Yellow Turban in itself says something about how long he can be around in a DW game's plot. He'll appear in the Yellow Turban Rebellion, the tutorial stage of this franchise, and be around all the way to the fall of Chengdu, the current end game of this franchise as games currently don't directly wrap up the Three Kingdoms with the fall of Wu, more just alluding to that in endings, and Zhang Hua's rebellion is more of an extreme legends thing. That's all said about how long he can be around, he would actually be largely the same as fellow Yellow Turban turned Shu character Zhou Song for a decent amount of time, even in regards to the respect and regard for Guan Yu. In actual history, Liao Hua was just a Jing province general serving under Guan Yu at first. But fiction frequently makes him a Guan Yu groupie, just like Zhou Song. The difference here, other than the fact that Liao Hua was a real person and Zhou Song is purely a product of fiction, is that Liao Hua would live past Fawn Castle, going into DW's Jin era and, as mentioned, all the way to the fall of Chengdu. As an additional note, Liao Hua does not live past the fall of Chengdu, technically. He does actually survive Wei taking Shu's capital, as among those who are ordered to relocate themselves to the Wei capital of Luoyang, 
but Liao Hua died of illness on the journey to his new station. Or, in Three Kingdoms fiction, he dies of grief rather than illness. So that's about the long and short of what Liao Hua could bring to the franchise if he was added. A long-time general who could be around for almost the entire duration of the main narrative, and something of a... rival, I guess you could say, for Jiang Wei. One other thing about Liao Hua that's worth mentioning, though. Later in Chinese history, during the Qing Dynasty, a particular expression was created by the Sao Mi Zhou novel. This expression is, if there are no great generals left in Shu, Liao Hua will be the vanguard. What this basically means is that later Shu was so lacking in talents that Liao Hua, who would have been in his elder years at the time, was the best Shu had to offer anymore. Should the DW franchise adopt this and suggest that Liao Hua is greater than all of the late era Shu characters? A selection of characters that include a girl who can rip boulders out of the ground like it's nothing, I might add. I'd say that no, they shouldn't try to make Liao Hua obviously better than that part of the roster. It would make sense to make him the oldest, obviously, wise and most experienced member of Late Shu, one who carries a lot of respect, but probably not the best fighter. Maybe a contestant for that position, but he doesn't completely outclass all those gold thing booker snappers, as the expression suggests. And I think that about covers everything I wanted to say in this video. Liao Hua is, without a doubt, one of my most desired character additions for this franchise. And after DW9 proved to be a game of my roster wishes being fulfilled with characters like Yuan Chu and Cheng Pu at last appearing, Liao Hua may be the current top of my remaining wish list. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.